All right, here we are in a Signal Hill, California day, late in the afternoon, looking at a really cool sleeper. We're going to walk around and tell you what we know. We're actually at the restoration shop in a commercial area, so it's really hard to get the video done without a truck backing up and beeping and finding the right shade and that kind of thing. This car is called the Road Warrior. This was built for a client by the restoration shop that I'm at and he really wanted a sleeper kind of car that he could have a lot of fun with and boy this one's got fun written all over it when you look a little bit deeper they the client brought them the car and it was completely pretty much the finish on the exterior is exactly what they started with it was not restored on the car as far as the uh, shop here goes but anyway covering that part of it is they lifted the body off they put an art morrison chassis in it a 560 horse uh, Chevy 434 cubic inch small block underneath the hood. It has uh, a 4L60E generation 1 automatic transmission with a shift controller. The Art Morrison chassis is a fully engineered chassis. This is really a pro touring car, sleeper kind of car where you could do the power tour with this car very easily and have an absolute gas. They went through the car mechanically, top to bottom. And they actually went through the interior too, but we're going to cover a lot of the things as we go around here. Um, all new wiring, that type of thing. But it's a 66 Chevelle Malibu or Malibu Chevelle. 327 fender badges, just black uh, rally sport wheels on it. Obviously they're uh, bigger and they're just kept matte to make it look simple and mean. When you hear it run, you know it's serious about business. We'll fire it up here for you. Spend some time up under the hood, get it up on the lift, that type of thing. Um, underneath the hood, we talked about it having a small block Chevy that's beefed up in the Art Morrison chassis. All the bright work is nice, but again, it's not restored. The exterior of the car was not restored by the shop here, but they did go through it all mechanically. It has air conditioning on it, has power steering, rack and pinion power steering, Corvette C, uh, C6 IFS front suspension with tubular control arms on the Art Morrison chassis. Finished in a period teal green. I would call the paint and body as average professional, but that's what kind of makes it cool because it's simple. You look at this car and you just don't really think of it in the parking lot, but then you get it out on the road or you hear it or you decide you want to try and race it, you're toast. Um, It'll literally roast the tires for a block. Anyway, uh, Ford 9-inch rear differential. All the wiper system, it's got an all-new wiper system, all-new painless wiring system in it. The body fit is nice. It's a good solid body. Again, you could pick it here and there for things. Like I said, average professional paint job. There's a little bit of metallic bunching on the upper surfaces that really aren't even worth talking about unless you're uh, really getting crazy. You can't see it here in the shade, and most people wouldn't even notice it. We've got tire sizes. We have a complete spec sheet that's super long. There's no way I can cram it all into my head for this video. Uh, they went through the interior and did a period style interior, but they did a cool, a lot of cool little nice touches to it. Uh, they put reproduction door panels, the teal, and then they matched the interior upholstery with a. Uh, they took the bench seat and actually carved it out so that it is a bucket bench and it's kind of cool they put the uh, crest in the center of the seats much like it would have been from the factory again they were going for the factory feel um, you'll see it has seat belts front and rear your passengers will want to put on a seat belt everything works in the car the dome light all the electrical r134 vintage air conditioning power steering neat little road warrior adorned tack on the dash there ac vents here but overall, door jam to door jam, it's a cool car. It's a really neat car. But you start adding up the power powertrain components and the level of professional quality that went into the mechanicals of this uh, name shop. Step back here and let you take a look. You could doll it up with some wheels if you wanted, but I'm not sure you'd want to. The idea was to keep it simple. The KISS theory, keep it simple, stupid. Chevelle badges on the back here, so all factory trim. The finish is, like I said, it's very, very nice on the car. It looks good from a short distance, and that's what you need for a sleeper like this baby. It's titled in Oregon. The owner's relocated to Italy. It's here at the restoration shop. We're going to communicate with the owner to put a deal together. Serious about a sale. We'll actually fire it up here for you.
I used to have a uh, buddy that had a Camaro back in high school and uh, I had a Mercury Comet and we both had our rear ends adorned with things and uh, had little sayings because we jacked them up. This car reminds me of his Camaro which was dirty, mean and nasty and that Camaro would leave you in the dust. This car is just bad to the bone. And you'd never know it. It has a really neat uh, interior. I talked about the interior, but I didn't talk about the floor covering. It looks like carpet at a quick glance, but really what it is is they went for the rubber mat feel, and it's, it's got uh, trimmed out rubber mats in it. Professional style installation. Here's the painless wiring system I've talked about. I'll talk about it underneath the hood. You can see the bulkhead connectors. You can see the connectors to check things. They took the dash pad off of it, the plastic dash pad, filled all the holes and refinished the dash so it doesn't have one of them plastic dash pads anymore. The refinished it body color. When they had the body off, they corrected any small issues that it had. Uh, there's no rust underneath now at all. Got 2,592 miles since it was complete. Again, factory style dash, factory style wiper controls, ignition location. The AC is going to work out of here. Naturally, all the gauges work. Pro belt put together. Wasn't cheap to do this conversion, I can tell you that. Uh, bin number is where it's supposed to be. You can just hear the horsepower. You can also smell it while you're standing here. Anyway, listen to the rest of my video. Go to spudsgarage.com. Have a great day. Talk to you later. All right, we'll get you underneath the hood here and share the engine compartment with you. It's one of the reasons they call it the Road Warrior. This thing's got a lot of horsepower underneath the hood and it's very well built, pro built. Basically, when they lifted the body off, they, remember they didn't do any restoration of the exterior of the car. They just went through the interior and all the mechanicals of the car, which would include the wiring on it. Basically, they restored or modernized the entire engine compartment with all matte black finishes. They smoothed the firewall, professionally installed, painless wiring system with an MSD control box hidden back in the corner there. Everything's done in a matte black or a gray finish just to keep it subtle and full of horsepower. The air filter system or the air intake system comes from the two headlights here. We're going to get into the engine here now and I'm not no way I'm going to cover every spec that's underneath the hood of this car on this. We're going to have a spec sheet at Spud's Garage where we're just going to basically give you the basics of the engine and the powertrain while we're underneath the hood here. It has a 434 cubic inch small block Chevy uh, in it. It has a uh, Airwolf, Brodix Airwolf CNC ported cylinder heads. The Edelbrock intake manifold's been ported to match the cylinder heads. It has ISKI valve, ro full roller valve train in it with anti-pump up lifters in it. The uh, intake has been modified to add extra horsepower and add individual injectors per cylinder so they've custom welded bungs into the intake manifold here and then the throttle body itself has become an air intake. It has uh, Doug's heat wrapped headers on it, Doug's headers. This thing's just cool. It's an MSD distributor back there. It has a uh, um, 4L60E Generation 1 Automatic Overdrive Transit Transmission, I believe they call it the ESX series. It has a full shift control inside the car should you decide to change the shift points depending on what you're going to do. Um, has a Ford 9 inch rear differential and again we'll have all these specs at Spud's Garage. The engine itself dyno tested before they put it in the cart well over 600 horsepower and again it was uh, 563 horsepower at 5200 RPM. Anyway, we think you get the idea. Hang on, we'll get to the undercarriage here for you. Go to spudsgarage.com. Have a great day. All right, we'll take a look at the trunk here for you and share the trunk. Very simple, just nicely done. 
when they lifted the body off they noticed uh, these are typically they have a rubber mat in them from the factory and it'll cause condensation between the trunk pan and the uh, mat and the trunk pan needed to be replaced so the trunk trunk pan has been replaced correctly all the way up to the edge up there on the front the battery's been relocated to the trunk here and then it was re toned and done and again the finish on the exterior and the rest of it was already on the car so there you have it go to spudsgarage.com hang on to the end of the video all right as promised we got it up on the lift here we wanted to share the undercarriage with you the shop here professional restoration shop lifted the body off the car and installed this art more professionally installed this art morrison gt chassis and while the body was off they made sure there was absolutely no rust issues on the floor pan, floor pans, and they corrected the rear trunk pan. We'll have more details of that at Spud's Garage. Anyway, they've kept it kind of subtle. If we wouldn't have told you about the upgraded chassis during the walk around, you wouldn't even have noticed it. And that's the idea with something like this. This is just a real sleeper in a box here. Um, anyway, matte colored tank, powder coated black chassis, powder coated black exhaust. The Art Morrison chassis is an engineered component and if you're looking at this kind of car you definitely know what an Art Morrison chassis is. They're very stout, they give you a lot of good road rigidity and they can just be a haul ass kind of car. He's got this one set pretty low. You want to keep the body roll or body lean down. It has uh, rear stabilizers front and rear which are fully adjustable. This is a triangulated four bar rear suspension so your movement right to left is almost non-existent. It has the uh, big brake upgrade kit in front and rear so it's got the oversized calipers and I believe they're a 13 inch rotor. They've used stainless brake lines and braided all the way through. Just the stabilizer bar here right to left with the uh, heim joints there. Has a custom exhaust system with rear resonators. We were just back there. We're not going to go back there. Has uh, glass pack mufflers and a custom built crossover. Up here is a welded electric fuel pump for the uh, fuel injection on the car. These rear end housings are very stout. They have truss here and a truss here. Add strength to it, Ford 9 inch rear differential. Uh, I'll have the ratio specs at Spud's Garage. I forgot to write them down. I'm not going to fumble for it right now. Inner rockers are all nice. Again, no rust on the floor pan. Professionally lifted off and prepped prior to setting it back down on this Art Morrison chassis. Has emergency brakes. You can see the cables running here and again the braided line or the uh, stainless brake lines and fittings. Has a uh, Generation 1 4L60 EGSX automatic transmission with the uh, controller up on the hump so you can adjust the shift points on it. Fuel pressure regulator there. C6, Sport C6 front suspension on these which is tubular control arms and Corvette spindles I believe. Adjustable coilovers. Again the big brakes, braided lines. Has uh, electric hydraulic assisted power brakes on it. So there's a cooling fan for the transmission right there. I'm sure it's thermostatically controlled. Has power rack and pinion steering. Huge front stabilizer bar. Anyway, we think you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com. This thing's just a blast to drive. Have a great day.